Okay, been uh, looking at motorcycle lift tables just to uh, just make it easier to work on the rig and figured if I got one big enough for the rig, I might as well get one big enough to handle the big mower and my four wheeler. So that was the uh, style I was looking at and, and capacity. Had a neighbor come to me and tell me he had a friend that had a uh, automotive lift that might serve. Had this sitting in his driveway. He's had it for, uh, I don't know, long enough for it to be exposed to the elements and we'll talk more about that in a minute. Um, it's of a style called a low rise lift. Uh, you've probably seen them in brake shops and tire shops. They raise up underneath the car, raise it by the frame, um, and suspend all four tires in the air so you can pull the tires off, do brake jobs, rotate tires, whatever. Anyway, that's what it is. Uh, the issue with this one was is because he left it outside, it got water in the hydraulic system and got it into the ram, which rusted it up so bad that it could not be rebuilt or honed out. Call to the manufacturer revealed that this unit was built in 1996 and pretty much all the parts for it are obsolete, including that RAM. Um, if they had a RAM, the dealer cost on that was $680. I uh, had a local hydraulic shop build that RAM that you see for, I think, $425. Uh, a whole lot cheaper. 6,000 pound capacity. The company's name that built this is Rotary. I believe they're in Indiana. Uh, there is uh, some things I'm going to have to modify on. This unit is not long enough, as you're looking at it left to right, for the rig to sit on. The motorcycle tire, actually the front tire, sits off that uh, far side and it, it's just not going to work for that without some modification. So what I plan on doing is building extensions for um, the right side here and here that will come off about a foot and they will uh, raise up with the table and allow me to put the rig on there comfortably. Um, I'm going to probably put some extensions on the insides too. It's just a little wide there for these smaller vehicles. I might just put another beam or two like you see there across there. Again, it's just to give the tires some place to be. And peace of mind type of thing. Uh, the power unit is 110. Uh, uses automatic transmission fluid. I believe that's a two gallon container close to it but seven quarts uh, works nicely in it uh, on its, in its horizontal horizontal mounting you can mount it vertical or horizontal again it's an older unit so it's not so pretty but it is stout I give them that I don't know what their new units are like but this one is uh, pretty heavy duty Uh, Four-wheeler, just what I had handy to stick on there. I need some weight on it. Uh, the guys at the hydraulic shop told me that the cylinder will uh, creak and groan a little bit from maximum extension when you're letting it down until you run it enough times to where it just sort of everything wears in. So let me show you what it looks like. Stand by.
Okay, like I said, low rise lift. It only comes up two feet from the floor, uh, but I think it'll, I think it'll suffice. It's not anchored to the floor yet. I don't know if I'm going to. I haven't decided exactly where in the shop it's going to be yet. Uh, I'll play with it some more. We'll see.